Well, good morning, my beautiful people. So, you remember what happened in Kasese district a few weeks ago? Yeah, I hope you still remember. Now, it's moving to Fort Porto. Oh my God. I'm coming up with the details. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Thomas Tayewa, has called for the shutting of all pornographic sites accessed in Uganda, which he says expose children to huge amounts of inappropriate information at an early stage. Uh, Tayewa, who officiated at the high-level policymakers' engagement on financing for young people, organized by the Uganda Parliamentary Forum for Children yesterday, called upon the government to stop the surge in children seeing adult material. Now, in his own words, he said, Minister for ICT, why aren't you blocking pornography? What value is it adding to us as a nation, apart from uh, destroying the model family? What are we getting out of it? I think the horrible minister for children, you should also petition your colleagues. This is an issue to discuss in parliament. Well, there you go. That is uh, the deputy speaker of parliament, right honorable Thomas Tayewa. Now, people in parts of uh, Fort Porto are living in fear after unknown people who claimed to be ADF agents dropped leaflets indicating that what happened in Bondwe, Kasese district, is about to happen in Fort Porto as well. Uh, waliwo abantu abatana bategere kika bavu deyo ni badropinga ebibalua nga bagamba anti echali kasese uh, chigenda kubawo a e fort porto i hope that translation is correct uh, we all remember what happened in kasese over 40 people were killed right there Yes, so leaflets dropped in Fort Porto by people who claim to be agents of uh, the adf have uh, left residents living in fear however the RDC that side said as security, they have started investigations and also tightening up security because uh, they don't want to take these leaflets as a joke. Our security and intelligence are actually trying to find out, to establish who they are. But then, because we are always alert and gallant to protect the population, we can't take them for granted. We can't take them for granted. So for us, we are scaling up our efforts and ensuring that we don't get any drop of blood from, from our people inflicted, inflicted upon by the negative elements. We are scaling up intelligence. We've created what we call VITs. These are village intelligence teams, and they are spreading in all areas of high concentration. The reason I say, I've, I've already said that these, these people, the so-called ADF, don't have a future. These people are, are concentrated on, they target soft targets, soft and armed targets. But then now, we are trying actually to use those, their so-called soft targets, to create defenses in which we are going to hit them back. Well, there you go. That is uh, the RDC, that side of uh, Fort Porto. Well, it should be remembered that uh, recently the UK government issued a security alert that uh, any time Uganda is likely to experience another terror attack. Maybe this is the attack they were talking about. But uh, we pray for the people in Fort Porto. We hope that uh, security that side will get this sorted. I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. My big man is uh, Hajmu Kisakarim Omsomi Wedua. Get in touch with him on that number 0778929141 and he will get you sorted very, very shortly. Well, um, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Follow me on TikTok as well. I'm Melads Milo, aka Fula. It is a bye for now. Haji mukisa karim umsomi wedua akola kusonga izenja uli. Onunye zemiri mjiganyi, business zoko la zizifwa, oyagala visa e ganyi, sende zofu na ziziku hita mungalo. Esonga zona, haji mukisa karim ya azimala. E yandi mwetaze, mufune kunamba yesimu, zero msamfu msamfu mnana, chenda mubiri, chenda muemu, anamuemu. Haji mukisa karim umsomi wedua.